Okay, in and in. Perfect. Hey everyone, welcome to my third video on Project Zomboid. If you've watched the last two episodes, um, this is the continuation of this solo campaign that I'm trying to play through. Um, by the way, I... Please tell me that's not a zombie. Hey, welcome to my stream. Say hello to my stream, Renmark. Yeah, man. There's a zombie here. Welcome to my stream. Say hello. There you go. Special guest, special guest appearance, uh, Cairo Ren. Oh, there's four zombies out here. Hold on, let me just take care of these. Like one, two, three, three hits. There's three zombies out here. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I just yelled at the zombies. There's one. Oh, yikes, that's what I was afraid of. Maybe I shouldn't have yelled, sorry, I was getting cocky. Push, and now we can stomp all three of these. Oh shit! There you go. I just murked four zombies. I need to go out in the open real quick because I don't want to get wrecked if there's a zombie like behind me or something. But so far, what a good start, right, guys? What a good start. Okay, okay. I yelled. All right, so yeah, special guest appearance by Cairo Ren. How's your day? Good. Good. Let me pause the stream. Okay, so right now I think I'm gonna feed my character, make sure he drinks water. He's really anxious right now, which is kind of dangerous. He's also sleepy. I wonder if I can... Let's get him to drink water real quick. And then let's see, replace some bandages. Dang, he is... His health definitely went down. And then I think I'll let him sleep for a bit. He's also, like, super... He's a nervous wreck. I think it's because I've been, like, murking zombies with him. So let's see. Let's see if we can get him to sleep. Experiencing too much pain? Are you serious? Okay, hold on. Let's see what we can do. Let's get rid of this trash. Dirty rags. Damn. I'm gonna need to find meds. We might have to go to other homes to find medication. And I think I have gone through a good chunk of these homes. We're gonna try this one, because I know I came from this direction. Let's check the map real quick. Yeah, I'm trying to get better at talking while I play, because when I watch other playthroughs of games, I, I enjoy it when, like, the streamer or YouTuber speaks. So that's why, oh, zombie, get ready to get wrecked. Let's stomp on him, stomp on his head. Don't demonetize me. I'm also a big fan of uh, ASMR, playing things in the background as white noise, so I'm trying to get better at narrating. I think that zombie didn't even notice I went in there. Like, that's very interesting. Sorry, I stopped. Yeah, narration. <laughs> narration. <laughs> um, okay, annotate map. Let's feed. Let's see if there's any food inside. A fresh cooked chicken. Should we eat the fresh cooked chicken, Ren? Yes. Deal. Wait. Okay, Yes. You said cooked, so yes. <laughs> it's cooked, said yes. raw chicken. There is raw, like, meats in this game, and if you eat it, like, it hurts your stomach and you get, like, depressed. So we gotta make sure that, uh, <laughs> we don't eat those, because <laughs> that's gonna fuck you up in the long term. I really like yeah. how there's a lot of details in this game. Um, little things like that. Like, you can break a window to get into a house, but if you don't destroy the shards, you'll get cut up while climbing through the window. Little things like that. And, um, okay. Let me see, what else can I do? This guy is really anxious. Let's see if we can find a book. Oh, we can read this magazine. We're going to read the magazine. Um, as I was saying earlier, though, so the last two videos that I, I upload got a little bit of attention. Um, we're at like 26, 30 views on each video organically. I didn't pay for ads, didn't pay for bots. So for you guys who are watching these videos, I really appreciate it. This is, uh, this is really fun for me, and it's been really enjoyable, and it's cool to see this feedback of people watching the video. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate that a lot. Yeah, okay. appreciation. <laughs> all right, all right, Ren. Let me ask you a question. What is what is? Tell me. Give us some tips. Give us some of the secret sauce to creating content for video games, whether it's streaming or YouTubing. What are some tips you can give us? What is like? Give us some secret sauce. Easy. Consistency. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> tell me why. Tell me it's why consistency. All oh, easy. So if you post every day for 365 days, one of those videos will blow up. 
And when that bo- video blows up, what do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna watch the other videos. Yes. And it's just and it just it's a cycle after that. So there he you posts go. every day. No matter what the quality is, you can worry about quality later. Yeah. You just you just gotta post whatever resonates for you and your viewers. You know, it's so interesting you say that because I agree with that so much. Um, I think not worrying about the quality is actually such a big thing because like me as a as a creative i want to make my make sure my content is perfect but like what's that saying like your first hundred your first thousand pieces of content is going to be trash anyways so you might as well just get that out of the way you know so that is so true consistency i i love what you're saying man i love it you grow with your followers Mm. so as your follower count increases the quality will increase as well i love that and you know it's it's funny like if, if I I'm, I'm gonna go on a, a tiny bit of a, a tangent um, there was a League of Legends team and at the time like six seven years ago all the League of Legends teams had like their own like reality show and there was a League of Legends mm-hmm. team who had like Disney money and so they upped the production quality and it was like it was like movie cinematic like quality but because of that it kind of made a disconnect from their followers and their viewers because it was too professional that it was like kind of like you couldn't relate to it anymore and i i think that is so true dude okay let me see if i can get my guy to sleep because he's in pain damn this is unfortunate dirty bandage severe damage what is going on my health went down a little bit too please don't die please don't die i might need to get meds i think that's why his health isn't going up like in the med kit yeah, these band-aids are like a short-term solution, but I need to get like antibiotics or something. Let's see if we can find that. Antibiotics. Ooh, a Let's get this baseball bat, dude. Hey, where am I? I'm in like LA, LA. Are you in the boonies? Oh, no, dude. I'm in Bel Air because it's oh. nice right now. There's like Is palm fancy? trees. <laughs> I love that. You know, I'll tell you a funny story. When I was with uh, Rodney, um, he yeah. took me to Hollywood, and I am just a kid from San Diego. When I think Hollywood, I think flashing lights, I think upscale, I think fancy, luxurious. Oh it's no, ugly. was I wrong, dude? This shit's shit ugly. Was I wrong, man? It is ghetto. I did not know that. It's like not safe. It is not you look safe. at the floor, you're like, wait, that's it? Yeah, that's it. So let me so this house right here has a lot of like good pickups and guns and stuff. So I'm gonna mark this right here so I know to come back. But yeah, he was telling me his roommate at the time, who who was a who's a woman, she would jog every morning and she would not feel safe like like going out for a jog because it was that ghetto. And I was like, I didn't know, man. I did not know like I did not know Hollywood was like that. I really didn't. Rude awakening for sure. Man, I just cleaned my pants. Spilled not matcha the pants. <laughs> you spilled oh, you know, matcha? If, if you spill matcha, it's like it stains green. Yeah, it does. See it. You know, it's funny. I got into, like, I, I, I bought some nice clothes for myself in the last year. And, like, getting a grease spill or like grease from food you can't just wash it out with in the washing machine with detergent you have to get like that was like oh shit there's a lot of zombies you have to get like specific grease busting like liquids and treatments and that was like so i try my best to not get oil stains on my clothes do you have tide to go i do but i haven't been using it which I should, but then I I did what you recommended. I got shout, and it was yeah. it was such a game changer. Like you spray it on the stain, and it's it's good. It's specifically made for oil stains, grease stains, like that. We just murk these two zombies, guys. They couldn't handle the tide to go. Okay, okay, here we go. Two more. There's three more. Oh oh oh. Okay. Take your anger out on the zombies. There was a campaign I was playing off off stream. And like mm-hmm. my uh, my character was like needed excitement in their life. They were getting depressed, and because I was killing zombies, they were getting more excited, and they were their sadness was going away. And I was like, "Oh my god, dude!" Oh, that's cool. That's funny, right? 
Hey, where would you go in the zombie apocalypse? Like, if it were to happen, where would you go? What would you do to survive? Oh my gosh. Probably go to Costco or some Good kind of idea. warehouse. Yeah. Good idea. Okay, let's see if we can go in this house real quick. Please be. I, I just need medication now because my character is getting, like, infected. You know, maybe we can. I know that there's, like, a hospital or something in, like, this area. Maybe we can try to find a hospital. They have to have beds, right? Let's drink water, eat some zucchini. I'm gonna have to re repair my bandages again. My character is really sleepy too. Oof. But he won't sleep because he's in pain. That's not good. Look, my health is going down. Is that very severe? Maybe it's because I'm infected or my minor pain left hand. Okay, let me see. Let me see if I can get him to sleep. Sleep? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, we can sleep. Okay, perfect. Nature's healing, guys. Nature's healing. Yeah, I'd go to Costco too, because there's no windows, the doors aren't really doors, they're like garage doors that you pull from the top down, so they zombies can't break through the glass, because there's no glass, etc. Oh my gosh, I'm like terminal. Oh no, I might die if I remove this bandage. Oh. Uh oh, not like this. I might have to drop some items too. Because... Dang, why does it say that I have... Oh no, maybe that was not a good idea. Okay. This might be the end of this campaign, boys. Oh no, not like this. Not like this. Okay, so let's see if we can find... I swear the last oh, time I played, I want to say there might be a... Uh... Like a hospital in this area, so we're gonna try. We're gonna try to go this way and not die. And if we die, that's okay. Like, we're learning, we'll start over, we'll get better. I'll just find my zombie character and just get all of his equipment again. I'm trying not to sprint because I know it'll make my character exerted a little bit too. I'm gonna keep this up just to... Dang, he slept, but it didn't heal. I wonder why. It's okay. We're gonna... We're gonna get this to work. Oh, I didn't know I could I'm do this with the map. I'm definitely in LA. People be just doing the most craziest driving techniques. Oh no! How is that LA traffic treating you? Is it wild in? Yeah. Oh, I'm not in traffic right now, but like people just be like making U-turns on a red light. Yeah. Yikes, dude! Yikes, dude! I miss LA. You miss it? Oh, do I really? Oh. No. <laughs> I see what you did there. Do I even have meds on my character? I swear, like, I had meds this whole time. I didn't even know. Dang, my health is going down. That is not good. Oh, what is that? That's a huge mob. Oh, it's got a gun. I'm going to see if I can cut through this way, because there was also another... Ah, oh, jeez, dude. That one bite from that zombie really screwed me over. Oh, please, health, don't. Let's see if we can have this window. Dude, my, I think my champion's gonna die. I think I'm genuinely infected. Oh no, he's gonna die. I think I'm actually gonna die. Where am I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember this map. Okay, right by the green building right here. That's where I'm gonna find my character and collect all of his, collect all of his goods. Yeah, I'm gonna collect lock him goods. up in here. I'm gonna lock him in here. Can I lock this door? Oh man, that sucks, dude. Terminal damage. My character died. No. No. Two days, six hours, killed 61 zombies. Game mode builder. Let's see. Let's see what my character looks like. All right, we're going to make a new champion, and we're going to go find that area so I can get all my gear again. Were we in Riverside or Muldraw? It's Muldraw, right? It was. So this time, I think I'm going to take strong... Speed Demon, and then we're going to do Weak Stomach. This is probably, in my opinion, playing this game, these are probably the best allocations that I find, and Unemployed. So let's do this. Let's do Random. Let's do this guy. This guy looks cool. Len Doughtry. Hopefully we spawn near where we died. It looks like we kind of did. We're here, so I'm going to have to run up this to the suburbs and come here. At least we came into the right place. So let's get a saucepan. I need to get some kind of a weapon. At least I locked my champion into 
uh, that room, so I won't. It won't be too hard to find him. Kitchen knife. I'll take that. I like how there's just a random steak here in the living room, not being refrigerated. It's so random. I need to find a baseball bat or like a weapon or something. First aid kit. Okay. Yes, we are taking that just in case we get infected again. Beta blockers. We are taking that. What is a sewing kit for? Tailoring sheet of paper. Dang, all because last episode we got bitten by that zombie. They pulled the fast one on us. Not like this. Oh, right next to a Rebus. Italian ice? Yeah. I thought those didn't exist anymore. Well, I guess they do. I'll tell you a funny story. One time we were really obsessed with Rita's because they had one here in Chula Vista by Southwestern College. Yeah. And then uh, we went to the Philippines and there was a Rita's in the Philippines that we were at, but we didn't go to it. We were like hella obsessed with Rita's too. So funny. Okay. I need a two-handed weapon because of course a two-handed weapon is the strongest and it helps with fighting. These knives break really easily too. Let's just make sure there's no zombies here. So yeah, I was building my character mostly with the athletic trait, so they can run longer and they can sprint faster. But sometimes, like, the zombies chase you forever. And so I decided that instead of... God damn it, the alarm. Okay, we're leaving this. That's the first time I've ever encountered an alarm on a playthrough ever. I think I spawned in this home before. I think I haven't. Um, but yeah, so I chose to do the uh, the strong traits because it was easier for me to just destroy the zombies rather than trying to outrun them because they follow you forever and it would just get really annoying. I think there's a zombie in here. Yeah, I hear that. Let's just do a quick looting here. I need to find like a frying. Oh, there we go. Okay. I need to get this saucepan and equip this primary because it, it'll last longer than the knife. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. I don't want to stay here too long that we see a zombie. And I think this is the hospital. The pink is the hospital. So the next time um, I get infected like that, I know where to go. So let's body these on one, two. I can handle two, right? Is any behind me? No, three. Okay, I can handle three. There you go. That strength trait going into work. That's two hits. Four, okay. Ooh, 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 not today. Look at that. I play Valorant. I kited him. Dang, the whole neighborhood is here. How many is that? It's four, five, six, seven? Uh, we don't need guns in this game. We just need a saucepan or a frying pan and then we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zombies? Am I really murdering eight zombies with the saucepan? Wow, that's pretty fucking good. Okay. I hear more zombies. Nine? Ten? Eleven? Okay. With the saucepan, dog. Oh, twelve? Okay. Okay, let's let's make sure we don't get bit in the back of the neck. Okay, okay, good. Push, good. I think the auto attack speed from pushing is really fast, so when you're in a pinch like this, like you can push them down. Oh my gosh, is this like 13 zombies? What the heck? Feel the wrath of my saucepan. Ugh! There you go. There you go. Oh my god, who wanted, dude? Look at this, it's a party, and we're cooking. Oh no, I got bit once! Jesus. Okay. I, my saucepan broke, but that's okay. Okay, more zombies. Okay. I have a knife. I have a knife. Let's equip the knife. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Three more. Got it. Got one. Oh! Push back. Push back. Here we go. Now I can stomp on their faces. Run, let's run, let's run. Push him, push him, push him. Push him. Push him. There we go, now I can stomp on their faces. 
There we go, there we go, there we go. How many zombies was that? Sweet Jesus. Let's rip these into bandages real quick. Oh my gosh. Please tell me I only got... Okay, at least I'm not infected. I think that's the thing that we can't heal the whole time with, with just bandages, but... Rip sheets. Okay, good. Oh my god, I murked like 15 of them, dude. I'm gonna have to rewatch that back and see how many I really killed. Because that was, that was ridiculous. Okay, I got two zombies on me. No! Okay, 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 okay. I didn't hear the, the bite animation. Dang, my guy's like, let's be panicking. Okay. Okay, one more. Two more. Okay, come on. Dang, how many zombies are there? Three. Three with my bare hands. Three with my bare hands. Four with my bare hands. Okay. We need to get a new weapon. What do I got? We can drop this. We can drop this. We can drop this. Okay. We might have to outrun these because now the whole, the whole neighborhood's after me because of that alarm. I just need like a frying pan and I can murk all these kids. Okay, this is the hospital, which is fine. We're gonna be close to the suburbs, so maybe I'll just run into the suburbs and get a new. Oh my god, fastest start ever, boys. That was a lot. I think we killed like 20 or like 18 before the rest of the neighborhood came through. Sheesh. Okay, come on, let's see if we can get in here. Also, because of the strength trait, I should be able to open um I should be able to open windows a little bit easier. Man, I'm thinking of just running into... Let's see if these are still following me. They kind of are. I think I might go to that area where my last character was. And then we'll catch him. Get our get our supplies and then we'll take a break on this episode. But damn, that was wild, dude. 18 zombies? I like to think so. Sheesh, dude. Let me at least get one weapon. I think I'd be I'd feel a lot safer if I at least got like one weapon. And then I'm pushing my character kind of far right now. Okay, as long as we get this saucepan. Let's eat real quick. This whole apple. And I'm gonna drink some water. And then we're gonna go loot our previous gear. Okay, let's go. All right, here we go, here we go, saucepan. Saucepan of death. And then I'll probably just stomp on him for the time being so my, my saucepan doesn't, like, run out. Oh, dang. What a wild start. Holy smokes, dude. Let's look at that one more time. Okay, we're gonna be right here. That's where my previous character is, and so far the suburbs has been pretty pretty chill and safe. The worst of it was earlier when I hit the alarm on the on the house, and that was definitely my fault, so it's okay. And we got a lot of, um, I'll just walk so I don't push my champion too much. We got a lot of, like, first aid stuff. I think next time, next time, in the next, uh, video, I'm gonna try to definitely look for, um, what is it, um, antibiotics. That's gonna be paramount in case we do get bitten. Am I in the right place? Maybe I'm not in the right place. Where did my last character die? Was it here? Is it here? Is it here? Okay, we're gonna have to look. So I remember I, I hold them up somewhere. I, or maybe I'm like right here. So let's go check this. I know it, we're near that green building. Or, okay, yeah, we'll go check here and then we'll check this one afterwards. Dang, what a start, guys. What a start on this campaign. So I remember it was in a two-story house. Is this a two-story house? It might be this house. I hope it's this house. So I remember we were... Were we like... It's it's this house. Oh, yikes. Okay. We're going to go on a little bit of a field trip, boys. We're going to go kill ourself. But not ourself. We're going to kill our previous zombie self. That 
was wild. I think it was the alarm that attracted them all. That was definitely my fault. Good RNG. How would we have known, you know? How would we have known? Okay, yeah. Not too many zombies. I'm gonna merc this kid so he doesn't follow us. It's a saucepan of death, and he instant. Oh, look, look at this guy. He wants some too. He wants some too. Catch the smoke. Okay. Let me see if I can. Wait, where'd they go? Huh. I wonder if my character is in here, because this looks kind of familiar. Did we go upstairs, or we stayed on the first floor? Man, someone had a party in here. Jesus, look at that. Okay, no, it's not this home. It's probably that home that I put the gun graphic in. All right, let's go. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Dang, that was, that was unfortunate, man. Oh, no. I attracted, like, four people. Okay, let's see if we can at least take care of this guy. Or should we just outrun him? We should just outrun him. Okay, how close am I to the gun house? Okay, literally right here. Okay. This guy wants to smoke. Let's go, pink pants. Did I just get lacerated? No way. I got a scratched thigh. Was it because I went through plants or this fence? Are you serious? That's sus. That's hella sus. Okay, I think my character is in this house. Let me double check. Or this house. The house behind it. Yeah. Okay, let's take... Let's take the safe route. You know, we're going to check here just in case. Okay, that's not me. <laughs> that's funny. Is it this house? Dang, I'm just trying to find my character, man. I just want my guy back so I can get all my items. What is it, that one? It's not this one. What? I think I died in like a, a home with like a blue... What? Kind of bummed out. Where did I die? Was it this house? Okay, maybe it was that one, that huge one. Damn, my guy's like covered in blood. Definitely wasn't there. This house? Damn, this is kind of frustrating. I might have to look back at that replay to find out where I was, because I really just want my character back. Oh, my gear back. Okay, let's take a pause here. I want to find out where my character died. Okay, it turns out I was way off to where my character died. My character died right here, so we're gonna... Walk over this way, and we're gonna re-get my stuff. Re-get? Re-get? That's not the right word. We're gonna reclaim my items. Let's merc this zombie real quick. Oh, wow, that was like a crit. Wow. And uh, the home that I went to was like a green... It was a green roof, not a blue roof. Dang, my guy is definitely exhausted, can barely jog. Am I in the right way? It's this one, right? Okay, yeah. Okay. Slowly but surely, slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race got this that's right I was really close to the the church man I'm just gonna get my gear and we're gonna rest that's where I died damn look at that mob dude I do not want to be near that we're gonna go in then we're gonna go in there merc my past self and we're gonna be okay as long as he didn't like I think I locked him in there 
Hopefully he didn't leave. That would be really bad RNG. There he is, I hear him. There he is. There's me! Oh, I'm sorry, I have to kill me! Oh my god! That was wild! Alright, let's get all of our gear back! Oh my god! Loot all. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that's freaking wild. Look at I'm looting my past self, dude. Okay, let's uh let's get rid of this. <laughs> Clip on both hands. Let's gear up. Where? Where? Maybe I didn't need to wear any of these, but I can drop the saucepan now. Wear the socks. Get rid of these. Wait, <laughs> this is so funny, dude. Okay, is this my wearables? Let's wear all this. Oh my lord, dude, that is so funny. Wear this. Wear this. Oh, I do have a watch already. Oh, no, 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 I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Drop this. Attach to left belt. Attach to right belt. Yeah, while I do this, I'm gonna let him like sit on the ground so he just chills for a bit. Then, do I have anything in my school bag? I had a hammer and a baseball bat this whole time? Are you serious? Hold on, wait a second. What was in this bag? Okay, so we can... Then, I can drop this. I can't believe I had a weapon- Oh my god, this whole fucking time. This would happen to me. Let's wear this. Coupon back. I had a baseball bat? Are you fucking- Oh my god, that would happen to me. Let's get these ripped sheets. I'll get the can opener as well. And then I'll get the pen. My character is sleepy and anxious. Okay. I think we're going to end today's episode here. Because that was a wild goose chase. I can't believe I killed my previous self right here, man. We were doing so well, but the infection really got me. So that's something that I'm going to have to watch out for the next time. We really have to pay attention. If you're infected, the bandages aren't enough. So, hey, we're learning. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in to today. Um, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. Drop this video a comment and hit that like button as well. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Project Zomboid is getting pretty fun. Even though we died here, it's okay. Like, there's a lot that I'm learning. You know, you learn better through the mistakes, you know. So, hey, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.